Hello, my beautiful loves. Welcome back. Sorry I'm a little bit late today getting these uh, readings out, but stay tuned. There is going to be a lot of uploads right into the night. So, um, if you guys have been keeping up with the energies lately, um, with the karmic energies, something has broken in the karmic energies. Um, I'm going to take a look at what I'm getting pulled to as a masculine energy that is coming through who appears to be very sad and remorseful. So we're going to take a look at that energy and what's playing out. And um, I'm not entirely sure what moods are coming through today. So just make sure you like and subscribe so you can get notifications. I just channel what comes through. And so Spirit is saying this reading today, guys, is... Uh, for this week for the twin flame energies and um, exactly as I was feeling there is a masculine coming out we have the king of cups in reverse so a lot of emotional turmoil um, not being able to hold his ground the king of cups um, can usually sit on this turtle and turtles move swiftly through the waters and they can move through all kinds of terrain in the water you know rapids, calm water, waves, all of that. Um, and usually this masculine can do that, but something has been completely distraught. Um, so yeah, yeah. I'm also going to just mention quickly if you guys want to do readings. I have openings this week still and next week and uh, the rest of June. If you guys are interested in booking a reading, uh, email me and I will send you that information. If any of this resonates for you, we can definitely go into much more detail about your situation. So yeah, I, I'm just going to shuffle a little bit more spirit is saying. So this masculine is definitely feeling it. Let's take a look and see spirit. What is this masculine feeling in regards to this energy in the most recent past, or even this past weekend? What feeling has been happening? Why is he in such a, a place of uh, remorse is what I'm getting. Okay, something has definitely ended where he's had to make a decision. We have the lovers in reverse with the four of cups in reverse. So he's taking that cup of love from spirit, right? He knows that he was offered something by the divine, but he also knows that he had to make a decision in a relationship and knowing that he had to move forward. So that is the most recent energy. What is the most recent energies that are coming in in the next uh week spirit as the viewers are watching this this is timeless but if you are watching this on the 8th is today the 8th of june um it is for this week what is going on in future energies here thank you spirit he's looking at where he wants to put his money his investments of where he's waiting right now we've got two sevens here guys seven of uh pentacles upright and seven of cups in reverse so there's definitely um an illusion that's breaking a dream that was breaking plans that he was investing in in the near future but he wants to put his money elsewhere and that's breaking that illusion let's take a look at what's going on in his mind space right now what's up in the ethers what is uh spirit is guiding him and in his intuition what is going on there about his ego taming that ego right that's why he's in such an emotional turmoil right now we have uh eight of pentacles so he's definitely looking to work on those aspects um and focus on that because he is all over the place we're going to get what is grounding in his world right now spirit what is actually manifesting in this mask in this world we have seven of swords okay we have seven of swords okay with the knight of cups i'm sorry knight of wands in reverse with the sun in reverse expert saying these are clarifying these what's grounding so we have the fool clarifying the seven of swords okay we have the ace of cups in reverse with clarifying the knight of wands in reverse and we have the sun being clarified with the chariot in reverse so this is what I'm getting. What's grounding right now in the energies is his dishonesty. He is planning for a new beginning. Okay. He is planning for a new beginning, but he, that also means that he has to become very honest with himself. I love this card in the seven of swords is because there's this man flying in this, um, 
the city is burning down basically okay so the city is completely burning down and his spirit is soaring and just watching it all burn so he knows that um it may seem thank you spirit is saying it may seem deceptive to other people because when you raise in consciousness remember you have a higher perspective and so there's plans being put in place right now and because of that people may think that he's being deceptive but i'm getting from this masculine no he tried he explained things he's working on things but whoever he's dealing with just can't seem to get that level of understanding because it's it's way up here um, and so he's just letting it burn at this point for his new beginning. And what I'm getting here is like he's not actioning anything right now in his world because um, um, because of this. The things are burning down. He's allowing it to burn down. He's not actioning anything if it's not unrequited love. Um, so he seems to be just in a place of limbo right now. Um, not limbo in decision because he's made a decision already in the recent past. And he's looking at where he's investing. But he also knows that if he in if he doesn't um, action anything, he can remain um, in this depressed state. Things will be halted in his life. Okay, we have the chariot, and that's an abrupt halt. That's like, you know, you need the airbags when the car breaks. You know, it comes on like that abrupt. So things have definitely become um, unstable in his world so this is what's happening with his inner turmoil spirit has really asked me to pull the kipper deck so let's take a look at his internal turmoil um we know it's from this relationship but i'm also feeling it has to do with money because he is also looking at where to put his money um let's take a look what is going on with this masculine spirit that you would like to get the collective their messages please uh, about his his inner turmoil right now of what he's having a hard time balancing what is that about spirit it's about a courtship and a high honored courtship so i'm not feeling this is what he's coming out of i feel this is divine feminine energy that's coming through and the high honor of this courtship um it's really putting a doozy on him let's see what that's about because i feel all of these actions that are happening is because of this high honor it's being able to accept such a high honor um especially on the twin flame journey okay it um it is the most sacred connection you could ever get in all of this universe you know that we're in this universe there's multi-universes but in where we are right now it is the biggest i don't know what's beyond that but i think it's even beyond that that's my personal opinion but why is he having trouble with this courtship of a high honor spirit we have the high priestess with the death in reverse and the four of swords in reverse so he wants to end separation here um but he's been resisting this change for a long time because it's unknown to him. That's what I'm getting. It's completely unknown to him. And because it's unknown to him, this unknown energy here, but he knows it's the Ten of Cups with the Ace of Pentacles. So he knows that it's abundant. He knows that it's how the universe is guiding him. And so... He knows he has to end the separation. And so he has to gain that courage, right? That's why the strength card in his mind is like he's not ready and strong enough yet to come forward with us. And that's what he's working on because, I mean, let's take a look at that. It's, it's, um, <laughs> yeah. Spirit's bringing through, like, when there was conversations with me, my twin, when we weren't in, com in conversation, I'll just tell you this. Um, he did say to me, and, um, he said, you know, it takes a lot of balls having to call you, you know, it, it's because there is such a clear mirror between twins. It's hard. And it's not that the divine feminine doesn't feel it or understand it, but divine feminine, we're going to look at divine feminine in a bit, uh, but divine feminine, um, has the ability to integrate those energies a lot better, uh, because we have to birth babies, like, <laughs> So we have to learn to change and uh, grow a lot quicker than, than a masculine energy can. So let's see where he's gaining his um, strength spirit that he's focusing on. 
let's talk about the masculine strength here. It's a definitely a maturing process. So we have the mature man here and his sudden wealth. He knows the abundance that he has to mature for this kind of prosperity that's going to come through. This is going to break the ceiling in like your financial material abundance, your way of thinking, because look at what also came out is his strength about lack consciousness, right? How we've always done things in the past, what we, you know, hang on to because we're so afraid of loss. And sometimes, you know, you can't build up courage. You just need to suck it up and just, you know, it reminds me of skydiving. Like you just jump, you know, you may not like it. And it gets worse when you just stand there, you know, or like when you jump off a cliff into the water, like it just gets worse when you just do it and you just have to like do it. And once you accomplish it is the best feeling ever and so he's hanging on to this masculine um there's rats there's a rat there and his intuition is behind him in this card i've never noticed that before but there is like a a rat here that he sees and there's a black cat and you know so there's mystery and magic behind him that he's not willing to see even illumination in the sun that's behind him so if he continues in this lack mindset of attachment of you know trying to control and micromanage the universe and living out of this fear because you just can't take that leap of faith with spirit right it's a high calling um that's why twin flames are so sacred because it's never going to match what your mind is making up in your head you know it's like you just know <laughs> um that there's this rat he, he's living with rats you know and things that are manipulating him and so this is definitely a maturing process to get this seven 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 we have lots of sevens guys now seven is a very spiritual number the earth was created in whatever seven days the seventh day the sabbath day the holy day um so sevens is a very uncomfortable energy but it's a massive uh, it's an energy of massive transformation and spirit it's a very spiritual sacred number number seven so we have five sevens here because we have the investment here with uh what he needs to also focus on so yeah 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 okay so spirit is saying let's take a look at the linear um sorry the horizontal lines here uh reading here with the um, the recent past, okay? We're going to take a look at the recent... And they want me to pull a different deck for that. Oops, my earphones are just came out. Let's see. We're going to pull... The, this is the emotional stuff of what's happening here for him. So in the recent past, he made a decision in a love relationship to um, end things or um, to take the cup of the divine instead of sitting in his apathy. So he has made a decision to move out of this poverty consciousness okay so he's definitely doing that um what is going on with this masculine with this lover's decision spirit and taking this cup of spirit thank you that definitely wants to come out this one. okay <laughs> so wow okay so the first one that came out that wanted to come out was unconditional love self-love oneness passion affection and attraction so he's really being honest about what he who he's attracted to what he's attracted to the energy behind everything and how to love unconditionally as he made this decision um again it was a healthy choice okay so we have uh making healthy choices in love and in life self-love uh, self-love sorry self-care and being happier so he knew if he made a decision in the aspect of true unconditional love then he is allowing true unconditional love to filter into his world and when you allow that true unconditional love to come into your world that means that you can surrender and take that divine cup and that divine cup will heal everything and everybody else and so he's putting his complete faith into spirit which is amazing because um you need that right you twins can't come together because you know soulmates and all other connections and it's not a bad thing karmic soulmates regular soulmates just karmic situations whatever the case may be they come together from a 3d energy attraction it's working in the grid line that's already manifested here yes you may have a soul connection but it depends on your frequency and how much you've already healed in yourself that you're going to come into 
these connections based on a person to person and how you usually connect to them always connect to them is from a soul to soul person to person basis based on the amount of healing you've done twin flames don't work that way twin flames come to a point that you've done the most of your healing possibly to become whole within yourselves that means you're completely healed on your own now okay and the next partnership you come into is your twin flame connection but that's because you are connected to source because you're connected to god not the other person so that's the difference because then spirit takes the lead and brings the two together and gives e either the signs, yes, you need to communicate, yes, you need to move away, yes, you, whatever those are, because you are in constant communion with God. Um, and that's the difference. So this Cupid's arrow is having faith. Love is coming. Surprise, invitation, or meeting, and hesitation. So he may have been hesitant in the past to take this cup of love, but he's made that decision um, in his life to take that cup of love. And... Um, He's been struck by that arrow. He's having faith in that higher power, okay? He's watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, and focusing out. So whatever this decision that he's made now in unconditional love, he's definitely moving forward. And he's coming into a place of like, yeah, like I ended things and I'm doing it for a reason because I'm taking that cup of love. And uh, anything that's being gaslit lit to me, I'm just observing he's just observing everything and how it's playing out so i don't think he's actually taking any action towards this past energy let's get a little bit more clarification about that spirit with this energy from the past yeah we have the devil in reverse so he's definitely ending toxic situations so uh divorce ending toxic situations and really not um playing in that anymore and he's allowing spirit to take a hold of it look at this he's contemplating and how to move forward we have a mirrored soul here in this mirror he's actually seeing his reflection in his divine feminine now and he's saying i am the divine masculine i am this high honor that god has given me and that i've chosen for myself in this lifetime the battles that he's had to go through right and recognizing that um, it's underneath this courtship here, right? This courtship with the divine feminine is such a sacred high honor. He may not have understood what this was before. He may have looked at it as other romantic partnerships as he has in the past. And it's completely different. It's truly next level stuff. And um, there was a battle here that he had to really fight. I'm trying to hold this. That's another seven, this high honor card here, okay? So there's that's a seven. So that's another seven and a four for foundation, okay? Is that there's, you know, this battle to win this. You don't get anything in life for free, right? You have to put in that hard work, whether it's tangible physical action, right? Or if it's spiritual action in your healing journey. So he's looking at this mirror now. In this card he's looking at this mirror and he's realizing masculine and feminine that he is the same it's like reaching out here and contemplating how do i move into this new dimension and that's how he has to take control of the situation and become this emperor that's why he had to end it so that's why he ended these toxic cycles so this masculine is completely aware of his path and how he's supposed to be moving forward let's see the near future guys is that where you're pulling me, Spirit? No, they want me to go this way. So we're going in counterclockwise position. They want me to go in the what's grounding. So let's just recap a little bit. So like he did go into, uh, he's in a, an emotional distraught because of the lack mentality, right? So he's really focusing on his courage to mature, to just go for it. Um, he's holding a high honor for this. He's made the decision to end a karmic situation. He's contemplating how to move forward. He's holding a lot of love for himself. He's not engaging in any type of gaslighting or anything that's going to pull him off his path. So grounding that energy now, okay, before we move forward, Spirit is saying, um, and Spirit is saying counterclockwise is not dark. Um, they want you to recognize that our physical manifestation is actually the past, and when you start opening the back of your Shiva eye, which is in the back of your head, that's when you get futuristic visions. When you use your third eye at the front of your mind, um, you see a lot of past life and you see uh, things that are happening more in the 3D sense, right? The Shiva eye, when it starts to open in the back, is when you get connection with the source and you see future visionaries by the hand of God, not by 3D karmic situations. So Spirit wanted to bring that up 
And I'm only bringing that up because I'm going to be teaching that in my mystery school too that I'm building up in my membership um, is to teach people how to do this work properly, energy work. Um, so this is the Seven of Swords here, Spirit is saying again. He's letting it burn down because, um, they want me to do the Kipper, because of this new beginning. And that's what's grounding right now. And he's allowing it to, to ground. So let's see what's burning down here, Spirit. What is going on here with what's grounding with the Divine Masculine? Yeah, wow, wow. Okay, that's why he's waiting here. So it's he's with the Seven of Swords. He's waiting. Um, it may look like he's not being honest, Divine Feminine, but that's because it's a lot of stuff that's actually... Uh, I get the feeling that this masculine needs to take his full responsibility and ownership to make sure that everybody is taken care of before he starts this because this is an entirely new dimension, right? An entirely new dimension. And, and whatever he's leaving can't come into this can't it can't um he knows his his divine his woman <laughs> his divine feminine doesn't matter gender it doesn't make a difference but his divine feminine is on the other side of that it's reminding me of that song by aha take on me um that you have to be able to move into each other's dimensions and that's what twins do you're collapsing dualities you're you're merging two different um dimensions here between masculine and feminine energies and the polarities Oh, because you're always going to be different. Spirit is saying that too. So that's why he's waiting because everything is burning down here. Okay. And that's a 10. So that's a cycle is ending to go on this journey of great fortune. 10, 10. Look at this. 10, 10 and 8. We have 10, 10. Before he gets on that train, it comes towards divine feminine. Okay. For this great fortune. So we got, we've got we got 10 10s. We've got 7s. Really massive synchronicities in the numbers today, you guys. Uh and what's out of this bucket is like massive transformation as you're seeing here there's like massive transformation of all of these butterflies that are coming out of this bucket so he knows that this divine feminine and this new path is going to be consistently transformative to always be your best self right okay so He's not actioning anything that isn't requ unrequited love now. He has no passion for it. Um, I'll show you what we got here in this one. Yeah. <laughs> I love this. I love this energy that's come in here right now because he's not actioning the path right now. He's not actioning because um, we have the Ace of Cups in reverse with the Knight of um, Cups in reverse. And what I'm getting here with the thoughts and this message of concern he's wondering if this divine feminine even wants this masculine anymore he's thinking of her a lot and he's going to message her of concern like i was an ass like um something went down here you know i wasn't i wasn't honest here and um he knows that she's mature right she's already come into this maturity long before he did and so what I'm getting here is like this is why he's working on this because he wants to match her because we have this look at this the higher realms which is father sky and spirit had me set up this reading this way which I haven't done yet um, the masculine of the north node of the father sky and the grounded energy of mother earth down here in the earth plane do you see how they were completely like that masculine and feminine energies completely like this because you know, he's working on this mature maturing process because his divine feminine is already here so he wants to match her right it's nice because when you come into true divine partnership uh you see the other and the other soul and you're like okay that's a capability that i haven't quite grounded in myself but that encouragement is there because my twin is already housing those skills but that doesn't mean that i can't house those skills so it pushes you to evolve in a deeper way so um for instance i'll use this as an example so i've never owned my own business this is the first time that i'm owning my own business i worked for government for years but my my uh masculine has owned his business and runs a successful business so 
he can definitely teach me things about that now in regards to and you know I have other bus higher business experience in regards to government policy and government uh, business cases so I can elevate him that way as well and then vice versa he has um, I'm more psychic than he is I mean he's pretty psychic but you know we can elevate that way where I have those gifts to give to him and then vice versa like um, with uh, how the business plans are and stuff like that he knows how to integrate it a lot better than I am because I'm more of the higher visionary of how I put those things together creatively in an analysis report for, per se mm -hmm. so spirit is just bringing that through because they want me to tell you okay thank you spirit to start looking at it this way and where you two are complementing each other and they want me to pull another card for that middle piece because the skills that you know that your masculine has you have it and that is for you the viewer to start seeing like okay if he has that skill i have it so i need to ground it i need to have become whole in that as well and same with divine feminine the opposite way with the masculine so both twins need to do that um you know how can i become more of that because that's in my twin that's the one soul they are already housing that skill that means it's in me as well but it's something that i haven't done yet or manifested yet in my life so that's very important and this is why we tell divine feminines go on mission work go on mission work because most of the masculines are so dominated in grounding money and foundation and focus it doesn't mean that the feminine can't do that it's in you it's in the one soul but you have to learn how to do that that's the balance of this partnership it's going to push you in your growth in the most beautiful profound way and spirit is saying they wanted to bring this through why spirit right right some of you may have spirit children that want to come through but they're bringing through so that you can hear the word of god okay this is like two people i always use this card as you know just a court not as a court case but as spirit coming in and the twins coming to spirit and saying what's next spirit what's next where's the next where's the next uh step what's the next step for us to take so neither one of them are fighting uh, I think we should do this and I think we should do that it, it's not about that this is God leading the way the twins come together in spirit and they get messages together that's why it's so important to come in into that wholeness right um, and this is to either bring a spirit child down for some of you and for others it's to it could be both spirit child and uh, to regain your innocence right if your children are not in your path then it's to regain that innocence of what um, children have so yeah i think i'm going to do a separate reading after this because this is going oh it's 27 yeah i'm going to do another reading this is a little long i think i'm going to look at um okay spirit wants me to do divine feminine after this and then um yeah okay so let's keep going so let's take a look now at the near future we have the seven of pentacles um Sorry, it's getting a little messy here. I just want to make sure that, yeah, that was clarifying that. Okay, we have the Seven of Pentacles with the Seven of, um, okay, yeah, Tarot, thank you, Spirit, with the Seven of Cups in reverse. So looking at where investments are going in the near future, ending illusions as well. Um, let's clarify that. What are these illusions here, Spirit, and this investment with the Divine Basket? Look at things very clearly. This masculine doesn't want to be stuck in notions of what the ego makes up we can daydream all day guys right we can think that we want uh you know is going to manifest but when you follow the path of god it's never you know you can put those intentions and those dreams to spirit it doesn't unfold that way necessarily spirit knows best so we have to be patient and we have to allow the unfolding and to continuously heal um so that we can see clearly so that so this masculine does not want illusions and dreams i i understand that completely like i'm not one for that either it's like these are the visions and even when i get visions i let the visions go i'm like god's got it like okay this is the vision but i'm going to action what i can now or i'm going to hold um space for that to manifest right because god only knows how it's going to manifest or i'm going to set boundaries you know i wouldn't work with my twin and his karmic because i knew spirit said no i didn't know why I just knew the energy was not good. I was like, no. So this is uh, where this masculine um, is going, that he doesn't want these like 
illusions. He wants to see clearly. What is the investment here, Spirit? He wants to know what he's putting his money into. Because of this karmic energy, we have that snake, the woman, the queen of wands in reverse, of where his investments went before. A lot was revealed about money. He may have lost a significant amount of money, and he wants to apologize for investing in this woman, okay? So he wants, he knows that the illusions have broke, too, in the near future. He's going to say that to you, Divine Feminine, of why he abandoned you and his imbalance within himself, okay? Yeah. Yeah, they want me to get okay, I can't find it um bring it through spirit there was one more uh, about what to offer he he felt very trapped in the situation because it was so unbalanced and he's really wanting to bring an apology forward and reveal the truth to you about what this what's really happened he's in severe pain here we have the nine of swords right so we have I'll read out the cards to you. We have the moon in reverse with the five of pentacles, temperance in reverse, the page of pentacles, and the eight of swords with the page of cups and the nine of swords with the seven of wands and the uh, ten of wands. So he's standing his ground and he's defending his responsibility and taking ownership. So he is not going to slack anymore, okay? He is going to own up humbly for where he's wrong. And I, don't, I think that was a problem for the masculine before. He always felt that he was right. And I think that because he was trapped in some uh, delusional state by this karmic energy. And um, Spirit is saying here that it, beca it became very painful for him that he couldn't maintain that. And coming towards Divine Feminine in the future and moving through with his investments, he wants it clear. He doesn't want, he wants everything on the table. He wants facts. He doesn't want to jump into the emotional drama because he knows how painful that is. And he's going to take responsibility as well. Um, I want to clarify here this more of this investment. What is this investment harvesting this investment? waiting for his well, he's been waiting for his um abundance spirit is saying thank you he's been waiting for this abundance and nothing's coming it's a little too much um i'm not reading all those right now um sorry guys it's a it's a it's a lot of uh, yeah because he's been waiting for so long he knew that he had to break the illusion because nothing he wasn't it wasn't bearing fruit is what i'm getting he sees that clearly now so he wants to apologize because of the snake-like attitude of the karmic and the illusion and the dreams and all of that was just, it wasn't real. And he abandoned this gift that God brought him. And he has to own up for that in a really big way. Clarify that seven. Thank you. Now it's coming through clearly. I had to get the message through clearly. Um, yeah, so he's halted everything. The Knight of Swords in reverse and the King of and sorry in the knight of pentacles in reverse so we have two knights here which are messengers so this is why he may not have been coming forward okay and we got the message of concern here in his present moment of what he's grounding and he's afraid that this divine feminine is not going to take him back because of his immaturity yeah, we all grow in spirit, you know, we all do it at different times um, so he's having some worry about that but I think this mask is a little bit um, too upset and he's overthinking it um this is the he's at the next step he's ready to take a leap of faith and it, i think it's scaring him a little bit um so we're going to see what divine feminines can do in their energy right now and um he's has halted everything of his investments he's not putting money into this karmic energy uh because the illusion is breaking and he's been stuck for a while so let's see what else he's doing this masculine in near future spirit He's in a lot of pain and he wants to apologize. He's now feeling the ramifications. It's like all of those feelings that he was feeling. It's like he's hit another layer of growth. And now it's like I feel like a waterfall is just, you know, like verbal diarrhea and emotional diarrhea just coming out. And just I'm seeing this tear stricken face of a masculine just bawling and being like, I can't believe that she would ever take me back. Because he's thinking, I wouldn't take me back. But this is the deep love that he has to come in to. So let's clarify this during the near future of the Divine Masculine, please. Uh, he wants family with her. He's made a decision here, okay? <sighs> Community. 
This is beautiful. This is about a child and, you know, children and friends and family and community and coming together in community. We have a 39. We have a 3 here with family as well. Okay, so he may want to build um, something with her, but what I'm really getting is like, this is his soul tribe family. This is his community. She's part of his family. She's part of his tribe. And um, he had to base his decisions on this, you know? And he's realized that um, he knows who his real family, who, who's meant to be in his life and his community feels like family. So strong like family, you know? And in order to get to that depth, you have to heal your family. Mother Teresa says, you know, if you want to heal the world, heal your family. That's the first thing you got to do. And if you still have issues with your parents, mostly your parents, right? Um, even your siblings. You can forgive your siblings, but not have them in your life. That's not a problem, but it's like an act of forgiveness within yourself. And it's not you go and you heal them. You heal inside of you. And this masculine has realized now as he moves forward in his life who feels that close-knit, like children, like parents, like family, um, is who's part of his soul tribe family. And he's going to make decisions based on that now. So he's purifying his energy. He's learning how to set healthy boundaries. He's also seeing where people have siphoned from him. And I'm going to pull some more here. Because there's something emotionally that's happened here. To have him realize that spirit. What has happened for this masculine to learn healthy boundaries? This masculine had to learn emotional healthy boundaries. Okay? And he actually realized divine feminine. When you set healthy boundaries with him, he may have been a bit hurt about it. But he's thinking about this and he wants to message you. Because he realizes now that you are just setting healthy boundaries. Because you love yourself. And you have to keep your vibration pure. Okay? So let's take a look here at what's going on with this masculine energy in the near future spirit. Thank you. And then we're going to take a look at divine feminine energy. Ooh. Yeah, these two. Thank you. So <laughs> he's going to come forward and be lighthearted, finding out things coming to light, adapt, change, and heal. He's had a recognition. Okay, the dragonfly. And if you look up, I feel like some of you go look up the totem of dragonfly. Um, there's something that's happening there with the dragonfly. That a lot of things came to light about how he was actually seduced by karmic energies. Okay. We have attraction, flirting, dating, hooking, hot, hooking up, temptation, third party interference. Like there even some of you maybe even be in a work situation. And she's tempting him here. You know, um, that's what it was and he's realizing the work of dark energies that's why this devil came out in reverse early on in the reading yeah like ending that karmic situation because it's toxic it's about they're saying uh, sex drugs rock and roll kind of thing you know um he's thinking about how he had outdated thinking conditioning replaying the events over and over in his head so he's going to be thinking about this a lot as he comes forward when he apologizes um for stabbing divine feminine in the back heartbreak pain separation deception and a shocking attack and this may have been a, a quite surprise to some of you divine feminines that you may have thought okay like it's going one way and then all of a sudden it's like what like what and he's realizing how that energy seduced him out of his path so he's got, gained the recognition of who's part of his family who's part of his tribe and he's making really strong decisions about that. So, all right, I'm going to pause. Go get a little breather. <laughs> Some really big energy is coming through. I'm going to see what's going on with the Divine Feminine energy. And, uh, yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, Divine Feminines. I feel a lot more clearing energy. I think you guys have been doing awesome. That's what I'm feeling in purifying yourselves and grieving and letting things go and setting healthy boundaries for yourself i've been doing some readings last week with some very powerful women wow um so yeah if you are interested in the reading if you like this so far don't forget to like and subscribe and comment below i love hearing all the comments i do try to reply to everyone if i miss you i'm so sorry i really do try to apply to everyone and uh yeah hit me up with an email if this resonates and you want a reading because i they will be closed after june okay 
So let's take a look here. What is going on with the Divine Feminine Spirit in regards to this? I feel Divine Feminine feel are feeling pretty balanced and good in their life. They're just kind of trucking along, doing their own thing, following where Spirit leads them, and just connecting the best they could. But I'm also getting that they're being um, blinded. Yeah. Spirit. Spirit is saying they're they're being blinded to certain things. So we're, we've got a few energies here. Okay. They're pulling it up this way. This read is going to be different than the Divine Masculines because the center of this read is about love. Oh, wow. Yeah. There we go. Divine Feminine. About the lovers. Okay. So they're saying this is recent past and this is near future that's coming here. Spirit is saying in the past a lot of truth was stuffed down okay um not being expressed blocking communication um and you have to learn how to be very more independent in yourself and relying on um here it is your connection here do you see how there's two souls here i've never seen this before <laughs> you know in the whole i love this deck this is a shaman deck in the whole act of like being in the city and you know being in the the way of the system it's like when you become into union with your twin it's going to be a path that you know that's completely different than what you think it's going to be in but this is like showing you that no matter even though you're single or independent and doing your own thing that you have faith in this union you have faith of what god has shown you that you're seeing this and and look at the look of this guy's face like what is wrong with this person they're weird and so you're okay if you watch my last video like i'm really weird um yeah <laughs> um spirit is saying that you're being your authentic self even in even in the middle of you look like a, a homeless person on the street you don't care you're you're doing it <laughs> and uh, in the near future you're starting a brand new cycle it's coming very close to divine feminine so hold some strength okay you're holding and grounding a lot of energies right now in the near future so you're gonna have to just withhold and tame your ego don't get caught up in um you know old paradigms that you've already healed and fear-based things and your actions coming out of fear of loss right remember that is a lack mentality we want to be open to all of the abundance that the universe can bring to us right so let's keep holding that i'm sorry for the wind if you hear that on my mic um i'll do my best to edit it out but oh that wind feels so good right now it's so stinking hot in this country <laughs> oh, i like it but i like a little I, I don't know if i can do tropical year round anyways um yeah there is definitely something happening here so they want me to focus on the middle with the lover's spirit what is this love energy that's happening for the feminine right now so there's been a karmic energy completely uh spirit is saying that has um yeah they wanted me to flip that so that has been completely blocked because there's no renewal here right and it could have been that you walked away from karma all right divine feminine because there was no renewal there it was not fair it was unjust um it was uh, a lot of doubts in your path even though you're holding the faith in this you decided to move on to karma waters here all right and choosing yourself right uh they want me to tell you that you're about to start a brand new cycle divine feminine what is this new cycle for divine feminine that's coming into spirit yeah Spirit says that they've kept you. Wow. <laughs> they haven't brought you. Thank you, Spirit. They kept you in, um, not limbo. What is the word? In hiding. <laughs> Spirit says, I hide my greatest ones. Uh, they kind of kept you off the sidelines. So if you felt like you, old friends have fallen away, the mission that you thought you were doing, like all of that is gone, the path has been falling away, Spirit is like saying, because we're keeping you away from a massive awakening, they're bringing up that when you first met your twin, there was like massive activation, the reunion aspect and the coming together for mission and divine union is so much more powerful, and so you weren't expecting when you were meeting your twin, and so they're hiding things from you, divine feminine, as intuitive and in how tapped in you are to your mask on they're saying yeah you don't know the whole truth yet and that's because you're about to become victorious look at this so that awakening is coming okay the tower is not just about things falling down for some of you it may be that you know you may have to move to a different place you may have to um completely obliterate your business you may have to switch jobs you may have to sell your car you may have to do some things okay you may have to go do that custody battle for your children whatever it is um 
they're not quite they're keeping it from you right now with the tower in reverse but here because you're about to become very victorious for walking that dark path you're about to meet your king wow look at the king here right you're about to come and meet him you've been walking this journey through this darkness and he's risen as the divine masculine and you divine feminine are ready to come into this union together and i'm also seeing like this could be masculine here and meeting this the king the god the father right um so you're about to be victorious in this so hold your strength here your wishes are about to be granted we have the nine of cups okay this is a little too much so that wanted to come and you're about to get that nine of cups your wishes your desires in the material world okay even though you've been going round and round and round you have a deep knowing the eight of cups is also a very deep knowing of your spiritual path with a page of cups there's a fire passionate new mission work pathway of your divine um soul's contract with god and you have a deep knowing you guys feel it don't doubt your intuition of when you feel change coming it just means that you have to just continue to ground, release, have faith, let it unfold. Don't hang on to concepts and structures and things that you think are how things are supposed to be. And that flowing is, I know it's not easy to get into. It took me a while because I was very much of a business mindset. Woo, that wind is coming in. Um, it feels so good, but I don't know if I want to close the window yet. But these flipped over and it's like the divine masculine, the wind. Father, can you please slow the wind down? And it picks up. Please slow the wind down. Thank you. Um, there's going to be a return of, I don't think it's going to slow down, of the divine masculine. So folks on the reading. Um, there's going to be a return of this masculine. There's going to be a fiery action. And so the storm that's brewing right now, you guys, I definitely believe that when his return comes, there's going to be some fiery energy that happens. So, yeah. I'm going to pull some kipper. Oh, my spirit, can you please die it down? Because we need to do the reading. Thank you. I think it's dying down now. Um, so let's take a look here of this masculine energy. Okay, I mean, sorry, the divine feminine energy. Well, the masculine is very strong in the divine feminine's energy right now. So if you're feeling your masculine, it's definitely, he's here. And I feel this wind keeps getting stronger whenever I talk about the masculine energy. He doesn't want the feminine to go anywhere. Okay. Where's this divine feminine here about moving? Keep moving. She's, she's still moving forward in her boat, guys. She ain't stopping on her path. She knows that he'll catch up eventually, right? So she's she's she knows that it was karmic and she's moving on. Okay, we have a wealthy man here who wants to court this divine feminine. So your person may have money, but it doesn't have to be money. It could be he's wealthy in many other ways uh, to court. This courtship is here. You're feeling it. That you guys are going to come together and work together in a very profound way and this is a seven here's a seven again spirit told me to look at that so working together and and building something thing together investing this is his investments again right in this courtship you're feeling it that a karmic cycle has ended and things are going to move forward and divine feminine is going to keep moving forward her new cycle is coming here and she's waiting she's going to be victorious spirit is saying things are going to be exactly what i was saying here okay about something unexpected there's going to be something very unexpected that's why the tower was in reverse <laughs> can't make it up guys um expectation what you're waiting for what you're expecting is not going to be what you actually think so something unexpected is coming um, it could be in the form of abundance it could be an investment in something it could be a gift whatever it is it's going to come in a way that you weren't expecting but there is a divine feminine waiting by the window um some of you could still be in despair about this false person here okay but spirit is saying um i'm gonna get you a little bit more advice for some of you that are waiting in despair please do your best to heal i know how hard it is if you if you need more advice uh hit me up with the reading um yeah because you may feel this this karmic is still trying to plan for the future um we have the seven of wands in reverse and you're ending conflict with the five of uh, swords in reverse so for some of you i'm getting different messages if you've healed your despair and all of that this won't message won't be for you but if you're still sitting in a place of ache and 
jealousy or envy or pain or anger or any of that spirit is like you've got to let that guard down and end that conflict here okay um if you're thinking this this uh karmic here uh waiting to plan for a future um is still around or that you're waiting for something with your masculine to come forward and plan with you and end it with this karmic um spirit is saying it's not going to happen the way that you think right we think like oh it's over he's going to call me like tomorrow and we're going to be together that may not be the case this masculine may also be waiting so that synchronistic events bring you together it could be that he's getting friends to pull you together it could be that you end up bumping into each other in another country i don't know right it's up to god so we have to let go of all of those expectations and just focus on self here okay your wishes are coming true, Divine Feminine. There is going to be a return of your masculine, but hold the strength because it's going to be in the distant horizon, this mature man. Remember, he's still maturing, so he's coming, okay? God's going to bring it to you on this beautiful boat <laughs> in the horizon, in the distant horizon. So I, I don't know about time frame for that. Um, it's going to be different for everybody. Um, but again, Spirit's not going to definitely give you a time on your twin flame unit. You, know, you got to really be okay with yourself as you're moving through your changes, right? Change Divine Feminine with the times. Change and flow with how things are going, okay? So in the past, like I know that you were, you know, so the truth was suppressed and you're still standing in your, in your divinity and really trusting in yourself and your union. Spirit is bringing up where things haven't healed in the past. They want you to bring this into the future, okay? Where you haven't quite healed in your past and where you haven't focused on things that may have still been painful, that hasn't grounded your feminine energy because you're stuck in a place of regret. They, this is why we're looking at the past now. We have to clear that up. And that's the healing messages that are coming up for some feminines, okay? If you've done this work, you know you've done this work, right? Because you're doing mission work, you're integrating. Um, and that's when you know a divine feminine is really coming close to union because you're, you're grounding your own mission. Um, now, for some of you, your mission may be when your twin arrives back, but I mean, we don't know that either. Nobody really knows. We have to keep flowing. That's why things are hidden by for the divine feminine is to keep grounding the intuition that she gets. And we keep believing in the intuition. We ground it. We believe in the intuition. We ground it. So spirit is saying in the past where, you know, you maybe you didn't want to look at the truth of certain things, you know, um, you didn't want to look at how, what was happening. We have to focus on that and heal even deeper in order to ground our our abundance instead of our regrets that's that lack mentality that's going to pull masculine out of the lack mentality to slowly move through this the knight of pentacles look at this that's exactly what i was saying to end separation with the masculine who is in turmoil that's the lack mentality right of where things could have been would have been should have been could have been but this karma got in the way whatever that all has to be forgiven and let go in order to heal this separation. So Divine Feminine, some advice for you. Keep letting go and really look at the past and really look at where that those lower vibrations are feeding you today in your connection and dig deeper into healing that. Okay, if you need help again, hit me up. Um, let's see what I would like to say about that. Because that's what's keeping this masculine in a lack mentality too. And that's what keeps Divine Feminine in a lack mentality is not focusing on those deep wounds in the subconscious, you know. Um, and to dig deep and to allow and to forgive. And gratitude too is a big one, right? Having gratitude for this path because it's hard guys that's why it's a twin flame journey okay this is the masculine thinking about you and yeah, let me take these two and the patterns right okay so this is what's happening in the past you got to put an end here we have a 10 right so the new beginning can come right so we have to stop that way of thinking because this masculine is constantly thinking of you all the time and you're in you vice versa okay uh you're like his muse is what I'm getting. It's like you're an art 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 piece that he would like to hang on his wall. <laughs> it's really beautiful. Um he can't believe that you actually exist. But we have to end these past patterns because it is creating bad health. Okay. It's this karmic is releasing them out. We're gonna look at the karma. I'm gonna do a reading on karmic in a bit, so stay tuned. But um there is something that's ending with the karmic situation. So Divine Feminine, you've got to heal that now too. Forgive the karmic as well. Move on. Right? Um let it go let it really let it go you'll know when it hasn't quite let go because then something will trigger you again in your present moment you're like oh 
Like, and it could be a psychic attack. It can be an intuitive knowing. You have to still heal, bless, move on, um, and trust, right? This is, you know, when is he going to message some of you in the pattern back and forth? When is it coming in? When is it coming in? When is it coming in? Kind of coming in. It's like faith, faith. Because when we attach, again, we don't want to have a lack mentality. We have that masculine who's showing up here in the past, right? This is past. So I'm not saying this is for everybody. So you'll know how it resonates because this is in the recent past. So some of you may still be working through that. And um, to move into this energy of moving forward of faith of of what's coming because there is massive shifts coming i'm gonna get one more um spirit wants me to pull some island time for closing off this reading for divine feminine and divine masculine energies this week don't forget to like and subscribe you guys if you want a reading again and a comment i want to hear from you guys. i love talk reading how I'm helping you guys. It really helps. Look what flipped up is talking. I love talking to you guys as I'm saying that. I love it. The synchronicities. This masculine and the divine feminine want to talk. Interested, conversing more, awaiting, awaited message arrives. Text, call, email, hoovering. So there is going to be communication. So, but Spirit is also saying, don't come fall into this pattern of waiting. No, 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 right? Right? Just keep going. Let it go. Don't if it's in your vibration, you're thinking too much, let it go, okay? So let's see what else for Divine Feminine. Okay. So, whoa, gosh, what's going on? Um, okay, so look at this. Look at this. So that's that energy of, you know, talking about being stabbed in the back, right? Heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack, right? Of being attacked. This There's going to be a healthy choice here of dating, meeting someone new, some of you may be getting somebody new. So it depends on your journey. This is general, right? Some of you may be getting somebody new, dating, getting back out there, plan, set a date. But it's also your divine masculine. So take it as it resonates. If you're feeling, I would know when a new partner was coming in. And I would, I dated a lot. I date, I've always dated a lot. I'm going to make myself sound like a hoe bag. But seriously, I've dated a lot. I think I've had more dating experience than my twin, to be honest. Um... That's why I think I'm really good at relationships now. It's like, wow, as I put through the ringer in relationships. But it's like, you know, dating and um, all of that. If some of you are getting pulled, you know, it's okay. It's okay. That's part of your learning process. So discover yourself. Part of discovery is getting in other relationships. And if it's not, you're at the point that it's not, then it's not. So take, it's your twin coming forward as well, right? So take that as it resonates. So there's healthy choices here. Making healthy choices in love and life, love and life, self love, self care, and being happier. Okay, we have watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting. So you're doing the same thing that the divine masculine. Look how these are mirroring here. We had stab in the back with the masculine. Okay, so see how that's mirroring. You gotta let go and forgive that energy of being stabbed in the back. It's like it's okay, you know. Um, making healthy choices. You're making healthy choices too. So is divine masculine. See the mirror is exact. You're both watching each other, but you're also watching. And observing where gaslighting is coming into your life and you're keeping your vibration pure. Whatever you're thinking of Divine Feminine, this is that awakening spirit is talking about. Outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over and over. You need to awaken from the past and put an end to that. And that's also why spirit is saying, right, with that lack mentality for some of you, you've got to let go of that and come into a deeper place of forgiveness instead of this feeling of the past holding you back. Because this masculine has shifted and you have shifted and the past is the past is done with. And so there's a sudden change happening. Shocking news, surprise, epiphany, um, upheaval, transformation is coming. Okay? And that's why Spirit said the tower was in reverse. It's like when some of you do come into union, it's going to be just like more profound than when the activation was because it's two complete souls. All right? All right, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe. That's your reading, a general reading for this week, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.